Hello, everybody, and welcome to Clear Path Guidance and Tarot. This is your monthly love reading for the sign of Leo for the month of July. I'm going to use, and I got different decks. I bought new decks. I just went to town and bought like four different decks. This one here is the Arcanum. Really, really beautiful deck. Like it's got some really nice illustration on it. And Heal Yourself reading cards. So you can see here also really, really nice. No, oh, upside down. Some of them are upside down here. So really nice. All right. So if you're new to my channel, the way I do my readings is I, um, I'm, I'm an energy reader. I'm a, what's called a clairsentient. So if you see any of my, um, celebrity readings, you will see how I do the readings. It's called reading people. That's where I shine. That's where I do my best work. When I do a private reading for somebody, I pick up on that person's feelings, emotions, vibe, um, energy. It's like it's my own. So if I feel like your special person is in love with you, I would feel love. If I feel like they're not really committed or do, really don't want to pursue it, that's the feeling that I would pick up. So that is how I do my readings. I would say I'm about 90% accurate when it comes to doing that uh, Those that part of the reading. I also use tarot deck and oracle cards as well. So what I typically do when I do these readings is I shuffle till one card falls out. Those are clarity cards and jumpers. When um, more than one card falls out, I put it back in the deck and I shuffle until the one card falls out again. I just finished doing cancer and I shuffled for six minutes before like I, I could, before all six cards fell out. It was painful. So, all right. So I'm going to give this deck a good shuffle. What are the messages for Leo for the month of July? Leo for the month of July. 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 What are the messages for Leo for the month of July? Leo for the month of July. What are the messages for Leo for the month of July? Whoa. <clears throat> Two cards fell out, so I'm going to put those back. Leo for the month of July. Leo for the month of July. The message is for Leo for the month of July. Leo for the month of July. Leo for July. You know, these I think these two just flipped out earlier. The exact same two cards. I just want one. Leo for the month of July. I will fall off this chair if the Six of Cups falls out on its own. <laughs> Messages for Leo for the month of July. Two cards. Whoops. Leo for the month of July. Leo for the month of July. Leo for the month of July. What are the messages for Leo for the month of July? Leo for the month of July. And this is just to remind you as well, this is just a general reading. So it is not meant for every Leo out there. Um, if you are looking for a private reading, you can always email me and I'll tell you how to purchase a private reading. But it's not meant for every Leo out there. If it resonates with you, that's great. If it doesn't, that's fine too. Take from it what you, can, what you want or what you can. What are the messages for Leo for the month of July? Leo for the month of July. 
feel for the month of July. Feel for the month of July. What are the messages for Leo for the month of July? Okay, so what are the messages for Leo for the month of July? The very first card we have here is the Three of Pentacles. This card represents the energies between the two of you, good or bad. So this is about um, prosperity. It's about projects. Um, this, I believe, because this is a relationship reading, um, I don't know, I just, like, when I look at this, it feels like people are watching your relationship. Um, and impressed by it, perhaps. Um, your relationship is getting attention. And I don't know if it's other people or your partner. I would suspect it's your, the per your, your partner. Maybe both of you guys are liking the way this is going. Um... You're, you're, you've grabbed each other's attention because you can see that these people are stopping and watching. So I, I really believe that that this is the both of you guys. Um, I, I don't know. It's just grabbed your attention. His attention, your your attention, you know, her attention, your intent, your your attention, you know. So this is what I feel is that that you've noticed each other. Okay. All right. So the next card is what. You want, here's the Queen of Cups. Now, what do you want? You are looking for someone who's nurturing. You want someone who's nurturing, healing, supportive. Um, I believe you're getting this. Um, now, this could also you be being involved with a um, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. So, and this is what you're wanting from them. Is that nurturing and uh, supportive person. Okay. All right, what they want from you. We have the Six of Pentacles. This is about giving and receiving and being generous. So there is the way scales. They're very balanced. And so they feel like they want this balanced, balanced from you. And they're also giving just as much. So it's like they happily take. They, they, they need someone who happily takes and happily gives a well-balanced relationship. This is what they're wanting. So you're looking, you want from them emotions, support, um, healing, nurturing, and they want a really well-balanced relationship. What you need. Here we have the Ace of Swords. You need clarity. And with this card, these are new beginnings, so you might be getting you might be getting some clarity here, but this is saying that you need clarity. Um, this is about beginnings. It's about insight. This is what you need in this relationship. This reveals a breakthrough, this ace. And uh, this talks about with determination cl and clarity of purpose, you get what you want. In relationships and everything is changing for the better it's a new beginning this is what you need in the relationship um, is this clarity but is it, it's a beginning of that clarity and insight what they need all right so here's the king of Pentacles what do they need they need someone who is um, solid and practical and grounded and has material success. And that's not making you, um, it's not to say that they are being superficial, but they, they need someone who's grounded. That's what they're looking for. And they perhaps see that in you. Okay. Um, solid, practical, material success, grounded. These guys are pretty much these, um, because it's general reading again, they're grounded to the earth. They're not flighty. How, how do you see them? There's the sun. So this is the luckiest card in the deck. This is about a joyous outcome. This is 
happiness all around. You see them as being that person that can that bring you that happiness and be with them. Happiness together. You can see these two kids here holding hands. It's the two of you. This is this is how you envision them. Is someone you can kind of move forward with holding hands and having fun in life. How do they see you? There's the magician. They see you as being able to turn your visions into reality and manifesting this. It's like they know that you have um, made this possible, made it happen. Because you can see here with this, you can see all the tools of the tarot. The sword, the cup, the coin, and the wand. You have infinite power here. So they see you as somebody who has, has made this happen and is manifesting it. Okay. All right. So I'm going to let one card fall out from the Heal Yourself reading cards. What is the message for Leo for the month of July? Leo for the month of July. Leo for the month of July. Oh, okay. Take off your masks. Let's see what... The meaning of this card is <clears throat> get it closer for you guys so you cannot get the love and attention you are craving by pretending to be someone you are not why are you so frightened to be honest with yourself and others do you feel that you will lose friends and opportunities by showing others your imperfections fears and vulnerabilities are you constantly doing things to please others even if doing this does not work for you this card indicates that you need time to get to know yourself and what is important in your life. You will know that you are evolving when other people's judgments of you no longer impact you. If you have an incredible talent, believe in yourself. Don't hide your greatness because others feel envious or resentful. Remember, every great leader had people who loved them and believed in them as well as those who doubted and disliked them. All right, so there you go. That is your reading for you Leos out there. Um, again, if you're looking for a private reading, email me. I'll get back to you within 24 hours. The readings are out within 48 hours. And um, uh, I truly, truly appreciate all of you guys liking and watching, subscribing, sharing, commenting. It means a lot. So, all right, everybody. Have a great month of July. Take care. Bye-bye.